Hey guys, welcome back. This is 1074. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to program a repeater into the Anytone AT778UV. Now this, this video is actually a request from three different people. Um, one in particular is a good buddy of mine, Michael, the uh, Tango Mike 3006. Um, when I first bought this radio back in the summer, I, to be honest, I was a little bit miffed by the, uh, the manual. It, uh, it's, it can be very daunting and especially for people who are just coming into the hobby and want to use this radio. So um, I'm hoping that this will be of some use to you. For those of you that are coming into the hobby and might not be very up on a, a repeater as such, a repeater, you know, technically will receive on one frequency and it will transmit on another. Because if everybody was transmitting and receiving on the one frequency, it would be chock-a-block. So the repeater in question that I'm going to program is the local 70 centimetre repeater here in Brighton, which is GB3BR. Now its receive frequency is 433.150. So what we need to do is we need to put the radio into VFO mode. So to put it in VFO mode, we simply press the button next to V and M, which means VFO mode and memory mode. So we press it and now we're in VFO mode. But to go back, we just simply turn the channel select dial like that. And to select it, VFO mode, we press the channel select dial. Now we're in VFO mode. So next, what we want to do is we want to store or input the receive frequency for the repeater. Now the repeater in question that I'm doing its receive frequency is 433-150. Now you input that on the microphone keypad. So now we've got the receive frequency in, we now need to set the shift. Now to do that, we simply press function and VM changes to SFT, which is shift. So we press shift. Now the shift for this repeater is plus 1.6 megahertz but i'll just do it for argument's sake plus 1.600 now to change the direction of the shift you press shift so if it's minus you just leave it there if it's if you haven't got one at all you can turn it off altogether or in my case it's plus so mine is plus 1.6 and to save it you just press function So now we've got the transmit frequency and the receive frequency in with the offset. Now, if I'm to key up now, if I key the microphone up now and send a blank key, I won't be able to open the repeater, but I'm going to show you. When I key up the microphone, it should come up with 434.750. As it just did but nothing has come back. Reason for that is we need to set the tone. The receive tone for the repeater I'm programming is 88.5. Now to enter that, we simply press function, go to CDT. So we change that again to transmit and we simply turn the channel select switch or channel select dial to CTC and we press in the channel select dial and what we do is we just turn the knob to 88.5 which is the one we want and we simply just press function now so if i now key up the microphone and send a blank key i should be able to open the repeater so let's give that a go And there we go, that's it. Now, because we're still in VFO mode, so what I'll do is I will change the uh, volume so we don't get disturbed in case, because it can be quite busy. We need to store this now into a channel. So what we need to do is we press and hold V and M 
and you will see this flashing. Now, if it's red, it means you've got something stored on that channel. So you turn your dial till you see the blue, which means there's nothing on that channel. Now, I've already programmed this, so I don't want to put it in again. But to store it on the free channel, you press and hold V and M. And then it will store. And then all you do is just simply come back out of VFO mode. And it will be stored in there like so. One last thing I'm going to show you how to do is to name the repeater. So um, you're not looking at a load of numbers. You'll know what you're, uh, what you're transmitting on. So you simply press in function, press and hold. Go down to channel menu, press in the channel select knob, go down to name, press it again, and then simply using the channel select switch like so, and pressing in like so, you can change the name, and when you're finished, just press back like that, back again, and you're back into memory channel mode. So there we have it. I hope this video was of some help to you. I know that it can be a very daunting task programming a repeater into any radio, especially for new hams. So um, I really do hope that uh, this video is something that you can follow along too. So if this has been of any help to you, drop a little like below. I really do appreciate uh, all the likes and comments I do get. So um, until the next one, this has been Charlie Tango 1074, and I will see you guys in the next video. So seven threes for now.